Our other top story at this hour, we continue to follow the newest developments in Flint, including one that could have another ripple effect across the state. That's right, Devin. State Democrats are proposing legislation to repeal Michigan's emergency manager law. They say that law contributed to the current water crisis. And a new lawsuit has been filed trying to force the state to replace all the lead pipes in Flint. Now, Governor Snyder says that may not be necessary if the pipes can be recoded to prevent further lead contamination. Well, let's get to Hank Winchester. He is in Flint again tonight with another interesting twist, and, and that is how the state is managing the crisis. Good evening, Hank. Carmen, good evening to you. It is very clear today that the governor and the mayor both doing what they can to get in front of this, throwing a lot of money now at the problem and also bringing in a lot of key people. In fact, two of the key people they are adding to the team are people that just months ago the state referred to as quacks. More help for the people of Flint and more people joining that fight. The governor and mayor making that announcement today. Virginia Tech scientist Dr. Mark Edwards has been retained by the city of Flint to oversee all water testing done by the state and the federal government. We're going to increase both the executive office presence and the presence of the state of Michigan and the city of Flint in terms of physical presence. So we'll be opening an office here at the state office building headed by Rich Beard. Flint's own Dr. Mona Hanna-Atisha and Mark Edwards, the professor from Virginia Tech, tapped by officials to work on testing and also awareness moving forward. What's interesting here is months ago, the state worked to diminish the work done by both, dismissing their findings, saying their numbers were way off. Dr. Mona told us in the beginning of this battle, she was dismissed. I was attacked um, and I was called an unfortunate researcher, that I was causing near hysteria. Residents have asked me why they haven't seen Governor Snyder in neighborhoods, why he hasn't met with those directly affected. He did briefly visit a firehouse, once meeting with volunteers. He's now preparing to hear from the people of Flint over the phone. Why haven't we seen that interaction yet with you and people that are being affected? So this is something I do care about. I'm looking to do teletown halls where I can get on the phone to t people and have them ask their questions, the citizens of Flint, because I do care about the citizens. It is clear that the governor is very concerned about what is happening here, and he did make that stop to a firehouse about 10 days ago, spending five or 10 minutes with volunteers. But for those in Flint that want to hear directly from the governor, it sounds like the next step from his side will be those teleconferences that have yet to be announced. We're live here, downtown Hank Winchester, back to you. But they, you must be hearing some reaction on the street, Hank, to all the attention that they're getting, not just in Michigan, but from around the country. I mean, Rachel Maddow is going to be there tonight with her, with her show. Yeah, Carmen, in fact, we just interviewed Rachel. You'll hear from her at 6 o'clock. Listen, the people here are happy that this story is getting a lot of attention. They're happy that so many people are doing what they can to help, but they're worried because nobody knows what the end game is. So why they are, are a thrill to see the response that they've been getting. They're concerned about the future, and at this point, who can blame them because nobody knows how it's all going to play out. That's right. All right. Our Hank Winchester reporting live. Thank you, Hank. And just ahead at 5, Defender Kevin Deed sits down with Governor Snyder to ask him about falling home prices in Flint because of this water crisis. And he asks him, should residents really be concerned? You'll hear his answer in just a few minutes.